If you like this video, make sure you head on over to CoachTube and check out our full Michigan 2021 breakdown, now 30% off when you bundle our pass game and run game courses. Combined, the two courses include almost nine hours of content, including the raw cutups used to make the course. So you can go back and take a look at not just our breakdowns of the concept, but the plays themselves from the 2021 season. Next concept we're going to look at is Michigan's mesh pyramid concept. So I'm sure this is called mesh triangle or three-man mesh. Basically, what we're looking at here, Michigan will usually run it with an overload. Um, lots of teams run it where, where they're not running it out of this kind of overload look. But basically, you're going to get a mesh concept on the inside where usually an isolated receiver, usually it's some form of three-by-one. Uh, Michigan often runs it for the tight end, is running this under route, and we're really trying to pick for that player okay so they're going to be underneath the x is going to be over top on their mesh route you can read that out just like mesh the w is going to look to work to the middle of the field if it's zone and this hash is defended they can hook it up if this hash is available the w can then continue to attack that hash on kind of a deep over route okay michigan often will have the z kind of run a pick uh pick route here uh in this particular example they ran the t on this flat road, they've also wheeled off of that, whether that's red or predetermined. I think you could probably do both. Um, and the quarterback is simply looking, hey, can we get, you know, the ball kind of if, if you get pressure, really we're looking to pick for this Y. Um, if if we get the, this backside drained out and they chase the Y or formationally they're aligned uh, with only one player over here and they chase the Y, we can look to hit these backside, but nine times out of ten, you're, they're going to use this pick and either hit the back in the flat or the Y on the under. You'll also see it run this way where Michigan's going to get that tailback in motion out of empty um, again and looking to pick for that Y. Here we see it with the W actually sitting based on you know whether this guy chases or stays to that side. Here we get a look at some film of this mesh pyramid concept. Michigan really consistently runs it out of this uh, tight end week uh, trips nub set, specifically with the condensed uh, alignment to the field. They're doing that to get those spot routes tighter to the quarterback. Um, so when this guy comes in to run the pick, he's a little bit tighter to that quarterback. See it here. If Michigan starts with the back away, I think just trying to not give the tell. Um, and then late we get them over. The back's running this flat route to the field. Obviously, you can wheel off that. You see here we get the mesh route. This guy's looking to run that kind of deep spot or continue on if the hash is undefended like it is here. And then the hook route here, protecting for this player back in the flat. Now, we give up pressure. Ball's actually thrown here to the drag route. I like this decision. Um, Nice job here creating pressure from Nebraska. They get a man free um, as Michigan tries to go empty pro. But you can see here setting up, it's pretty tough. They're able to cover this fairly well, but they do it. They empty out the boundary, and you have these two as really viable options in that situation. Michigan's just running this out of their empty protection. The late switch to 5-0, you see they're going to get that 5-0 look, and they just fail to pass off the twist. Pretty good play to have a chance at that. Second one again, very similar set. Again, back set weak. Here we're going to keep the back in in protection. Um, so it works out because we're getting a pressure look. Again, we see that the hash is undefended. We'll work through, mesh, and then this final pick route makes it really tough to pass these two unders. So if you're trying to switch, hey, let's switch this mesh that pick route is now going to be in your way as you come across. You see here four gets picked, ends up wide open, helps if your tight end 6'4", can run like that. That's the game winner against Penn State. You'll see that switch here, how tough that is. They try and fight through it. They don't try and switch it and get picked off. And again, it doesn't hurt when the guy can run like that, but the play design gives him a chance to get in that open space. See again here, only difference is now the back is set out here as a wide out again. Just, just trying to get some disguise on that. 
Here the back's going to run the swing. Could have wheeled off it. The ball comes out so early. Who knows if that's what they're actually going for. Okay, with the pressure look, it's great. Flip the ball out there. You see here, he adds into the pressure. I'm not sure exactly whether someone's supposed to peel out of this. If they're in zero, probably they're supposed to peel out of that. And then the quarterback would have to work the mesh if they did peel out. Here they don't. Ball gets thrown to the tailback. Ends up being, you know, really, really close to a score. Again, this is just out of empty. Picked up better. Five for five. See the tackle take the inside of the two threats. Ball gets dumped out to the tailback. Has a shot to score. Last one here, this one's a little bit different. Um, we'll see that we've got, again, a trip set. Now it's two tight ends and that condensed uh, Z receiver. Okay, here that Z receiver actually runs. It's almost like a smash variation where the Z receiver is now going to run the corner. Okay, and our two tight ends are going to run the under and that middle of the field spot to diagonal route. Okay, and the back is now replacing in the flat. They're now picking for this wide out again off the condensed set. Now it's not the tight end. They're picking for the wide out. So I think they're trying to work this smash concept and then if it gets covered, they're trying to pick this wall player and run the mesh underneath. This one gets tipped, but you see here how much room their X receiver has to catch and work back up the hash. The ball's not tipped. 